a lead on the Krinim. Voyager went to Krinim space, looking for them a few months ago, but didn't find much more than a Vardwa and some anomalous sensor readings. But now, we found a Ferengi, selling what he claims are Krinim artifacts. You are authorized to negotiate with the Ferengi and obtain these artifacts. Follow the trail where it leads. We need a weapon against the Icodians. And the Vardwa have gone to a great deal of trouble to keep whatever secrets the Krinim have out of our hands. The war continues, and all of our warriors are needed to... May I help you? Oh. Wait, you must be. I'm sorry, but the business facilitator is busy at the moment and cannot be disturbed. Yes, but Quen left me explicit instructions about this. He's in the middle of a delicate negotiation to triple his profits on the sale of a rare Delta Quadrant artifact and cannot be disturbed. Maybe, let's see, it was something, Krenim, I think? Oh, Delta Quadrant treasures are all the rage right now. Artifacts from cultures the Vadwar wiped out are particularly valuable. Quen's made quite a bit of latinum bringing them back through the gateways. Now, that profit-sharing plan he promised me hasn't materialized, but is it my place to complain? I'm sorry, but my instructions were very clear. Well, I'm sorry, but I need this job. I'm trying to save up enough for a ticket off this station. You, you can? What am I saying? You have a starship, of course you can. Go on ahead. Quen and the other buyer are in the cargo bay, but you better hurry. They were trying to get the deal finalized before you could stop them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Not so fast! The gentleman with the rather imposing associates over there has just made a very competitive offer for the device. Care to make a counter bid? You said there weren't any other buyers, Quinn! Now what do I see? Starfleet stooges here to cause trouble! Guards, get these riffraff out of here so I can conclude my deal in peace!
was going to pay those guards to my off. Hold it! I am Nog, son of Grand Nagus Rom. And I am a Ferengi. And when you deal with these people, you deal with me. Ah. Uh, you have a choice. Either deal with me, or I ask my father to have a word with the Liquidators about your poor business practices. Um, well, I'm sure we could come to an understanding. That's what I thought. Now, kiss the staff. Get out! Not you, Quinn. Here's my best offer. How about we agree on a price, and you get your Delta Quadrant doodad, and I leave. Everyone's happy. No? Fine. How about I answer your questions, and maybe then I get to leave. But let's get on with it. Every minute I stand here, I'm losing a strip of platinum. Time is a very valuable commodity. The device is Krenum in origin. Specifically, it's from the Krenum Imperium. Constructed sometime in the mid-22nd century, if I had to take a guess. Strange piece of technology. I haven't seen anything else like it. Highly advanced, and it has hallmarks of Krenum work. But it's, uh, odd. Definitely odd. The Vatlar, that's what! At one point, the Krenum Imperium held more than 200 star systems in the Delta Quadrant. They lost some of that territory in a couple wars, but overall they were doing well. Not the biggest business in the Quadrant, but not the smallest either. When the Vartwar started their war, Gaul took a special interest in the Krenum, bombed them back to the Stone Age, and then some. As far as anyone knows, the Krenum are basically extinct these days. I picked it up from a Talaxian who wanted to trade for supplies. He told me he got it from the uh, Kayana system. That was it. There used to be a Krenum colony there, but it's gone now, just like the rest of their empire. The Talaxian wasn't very clear on that. He just said, gone. If I'd asked any more questions, he might have increased his price. As a show of good faith to the son of the Nagus, I'm willing to tell you for free. But don't let this get around. It would ruin my reputation as a businessman. The device emits some unusual energy readings. The shielding may have malfunctioned, or maybe it's not fully operational anymore. I'm not sure. But that's why I'm selling it as an antique. As is. And no refunds. Do I look like a member of the Vulcan Science Academy to you? I don't know. It's yours now. You paid for it. You figure it out. I hope it doesn't blow up your ship. <laughs> now, may I go so we can put all this unpleasantness behind us? I want to drown my sorrows in a comet cocktail and think about all the profit I didn't earn today. Don't let the staff of Avis and these good looks fool you. <laughs> I'm here as a Starfleet officer, and I don't normally flaunt my family connections. But in this case, it seemed like the best way to solve the problem. So I borrowed my dad's second best staff. Interesting. I know Voyager encountered the Krenum during the journey, and Tuvok was looking for survivors of the Vaudoir purchase, for now, though, perhaps we should concentrate on learning what we can from this device. Quinn left without taking down his security, but fortunately, I know how to get around it. This isn't a very sophisticated system. It's hardly worth the let to be paid for it. <laughs> if we overload the EPS conduits, we'll create a cascade failure in the system that the control protocols won't be able to handle. That should drop the force field. I don't mind telling you a bit about myself at all. I grew up on Deep Space Nine with my father and my uncle Quark. That was back before my dad became the Nagus. He was just a maintenance tech. Like my father, I preferred engineering to business. And Captain Sisko helped me get into the academy, 
the first Ferengi ever to join Starfleet. I fought in the Dominion War, which is an experience I never want to repeat, and I spent some time on exploration ships. Then it was back to DS9 for a while, off to Utopia Planitia to work with the SCE, and finally taking command of the Chimera. Now I get to see the technology I helped develop at work in the field. Interesting. I know Voyager encountered... Quinn left without taking down his... I think you can overload the EPS conduits in the corner there. Now that the power flow is disrupted, we can override the administrative access requirement. The controls are... Yes! Over here by the artifact. Get a good look at this. The waveforms aren't like anything I've seen before. I think I'm getting something. This is definitely Krenum in origin. And Quinn was right on the age. I'm also seeing some repeating elements in the base code, uh, almost like a signature. And that strange energy Quinn was talking about is actually chronotons. A lot of chronotons. And chronotons mean temporal manipulation. This little box just got a lot more interest. I'll take the device back to my ship, the Chimera, and have a look while we're on the way to the Kiana system. From what I understand, Voyager sent an away team to the Kiana system a few weeks ago but they encountered some resistance and were forced to pull back before they can find what they were looking for. But now that we have this, maybe we'll be able to find what remains of the Krenum, if there's anything left to find. I've explored many places as a Starfleet officer, but this is my first time seeing the Delta Quadrant. According to Quinn, the Krenum artifact came from this system. I hope we haven't come all this way just to chase ghosts. I've had a chance to look at the Krenum device, although I'm not sure how to activate it yet. It's definitely designed for temporal manipulation, although I don't think it would enable someone to travel through time. It's almost like a step sideways, if that makes any sense at all. I'll keep working on it and let you know if I learn anything more. Voyager's preliminary scans of the system turned up a number of anomalies, but nothing conclusive. According to Krenum records, though, there's supposed to be an M-class planet in this system. We're not reading anything like that on the sensors. Could be. Let's check that wreckage out first. It might give us a better idea of what happened out here. And we should be on the lookout for Vaudoir. Preliminary scans indicate they've been actively patrolling through this system. Keep an eye out for Vaudoir. They're still patrolling this area. If I had to place a bet, I'd say that wreckage is where this artifact was found. Heads up! Vaudoir on an intercept course! Voyager, the Krenum were a fairly small society, 
There had to be a reason the Vaudoir went out of their way to target them. Let's move. There might be more ships in range. There are more Vaudoir on an intercept course, but we may be able to avoid them. I suggest we use the mineral content of the asteroids I've marked to conceal our energy signatures. Vaudoir sensors aren't as good as ours. Most of their technological advantage appears to be directed toward making better weapons. So it should work, as long as we don't attract their attention before we get out of their path. Vardwar patrol. I don't think those heralds detected us. Let's hope they don't come back this way. Heralds inbound. The Vardwar must have gotten a signal out. There was something about the Krenum that was such a threat to the Vaudoir and the Iconians that they're still patrolling the old Krenum systems. If we can find more Krenum technology, or maybe unlock what we have, we might be able to find out what is so important. That could be something the Alliance can use against the Iconians. I recommend that the Chimera and your ship control the outer system while we take an away team to the surface. I'll bring the device and keep trying to learn more about it. This doesn't make sense. There's nothing here that would cause the readings I was seeing from orbit, but there are traces of chronotron particles. I've never known chronotrons to appear naturally without some sort of temporal manipulation going on, but there's nothing here. I'm starting to come up with a theory, but I need some more data. I recommend we take some additional scans. Exactly, but we need to be quick. Those patrols we encountered in orbit will be missed soon. I'm going to order the Chimera to try to avoid contact but warn us if more ships arrive. These tall spires are charged with temporal energy. Curious. It's almost like it's in a state of temporal flux. I need to get some scans. There's something going on. There are more mineral deposits over there. There's a resonant frequency here that's not natural. I'm reading another anomaly ahead. These anomalies have a shape, like a warp field, but not quite the same.
The only other place I've seen censored readings like this was in the wormhole. There! Behind those rocks! Hurry! They'll be here any moment! This area looks defensible. Get ready. I have an idea! We need to use the device. I've been trying to activate it, and I've almost got it. Keep them busy. If I can get it working, I should be able to conceal us. Here they come! Almost there. Just one more connection and that should...
If you'll forgive the pun, I managed to buy us some time. It's taken me some time to convince the Krenim to help us, but they finally agreed. Remember how I said the device could remove someone from the time stream? It did. That's where we are now, in the temporal bubbles. And how we perceive time in here is a little different than outside. That's why the Heralds can't see us. We're out of their timelines. Out of all timelines, in fact. While we're here, it's almost like we don't exist. No one's shooting at us. I think that's a good thing. The Krenomar, they're a little touchy. Uh, almost being driven to extinction by the Vaudoir has made them suspicious. But they're willing to talk to us if we help them stabilize the temporal energy. I suggest we help. I wouldn't want to be in here if the fields collapse. I've had some time to observe you and Captain Nog, and your actions make it clear that you are no friend of the Vaudoir or the Heralds. This does not, however, assure me that you will be allies to my people. The Krenim have lost much. Our empire is gone, and our people have been killed or scattered. We are what remains, and I will do whatever I must to protect this system even if it means leaving you to face the Heralds alone. You have already repaired some of our emitters that were damaged by the attack, but there is more yet to do. Should our temporal equipment fail, this location will be instantly overrun by Heralds. If that happens, none of us will survive. More of our emitters must be realigned and there are other pieces of equipment my people are already working to repair. Assist my team, and then we will talk again. compensators are out of alignment. They help keep us at a stable point in the timeline. If they fail completely, we could end up lost in time. Grab a hyperspanner. We need to get this fixed before the drift coefficient moves out of the safe zone. The Imperium was at its peak in the mid-22nd century. At that time, it controlled more than 900 planets, and our territory spread across more than 5,000 parsecs. Then came the Rilnar, and the Zal, and the Garanor, the Mawasi, and the Nahydron. Our wars chipped away at us, carving one planet after another away from the Imperium. There were only 27 planets left when the Vaudoir came. Now, almost everyone on those worlds is gone too. The Temporal Compensators are... should realign the matrix crystals. You need to disconnect the buffer before you do anything else. Good, I'll put the next location on your tricorder. Your fight overloaded some of the power couplings we use to moderate the temporal flow. If we had a contained space like the technology was originally designed for, this wouldn't be a problem. But we keep pushing the boundaries of what these flow modulators will do. I'm rerouting the power to take stress off the damaged couplings. But first, we need to get this capacitor aligned and ready for the transfer. 
The temporal technology was developed by a scientist named Anorax. He's still a mystery, even to us. We know he was a ship commander in the Imperium fleet and a genius in temporal mechanics, and that he started work on his inventions in the late 22nd century after our war with the Rilnar. Perhaps he saw temporal manipulation as a way to change our fortunes. But we know he was working towards weaponizing his designs, and I can tell from what little I've seen that it is possible. But full access to his data is restricted, so I don't know the full capabilities of his work. Your fight overloaded. Okay, now it's starting to look like something. Hold this. No, hold it right next to the bracket. Or the spanner won't... There. Got it, thanks. Something is putting too much stress on these components. I'm not sure what it is, but we don't have enough spare parts to keep rebuilding this transceiver. Grab a tricorder and run a level 3 diagnostic. Maybe there are some microfractures. If we can find and repair those, this should hold out until I can fabricate a new unit. Anorax's original designs are for a temporal field that's big enough for a ship, sizable but finite. We've adapted the tech to cover much larger areas, but that makes the field more unstable, and we had to get everything operational before the Vaudoir found us. So we cut some corners, a lot of corners. We're making updates and repairs as fast as we can, but we can't afford a failure. This tech is the only thing keeping us alive. Hold this. You need to scan for microfractures. We need to know what to repair. That should do it. You've shown you're willing to help. Now perhaps we can come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. We have Anorax's plans, but not the... Interesting. The Heralds are opening a gateway. The repairs should be enough. Vengeance, but we must not act in haste. 
continue our plan. The whole must be as one. The whole must be as one. The attack on Iconia broke our unity. We were divided, diminished, weak. The other saved us from oblivion, but it took centuries to rebuild our bonds. We cannot risk more loss. The whole must be as one. The campaign will continue as planned. See us? There were Iconians right in front of us and nothing! They had no idea we were here. We were completely safe. The only protection left to my people is our ability to manipulate time. But it is something we must do with great care. Even the most innocuous of changes can ripple through reality in unexpected ways. My people and I have made Anorax's theories of temporal manipulation our lives work. In at least one temporal variant, his ship made the Krenum Imperium the undisputed masters of this region of space. If only we could recreate that vessel. Anorax designed a ship, a wondrous vessel, that could manipulate the time streams and erase elements in an attempt to bring about a desired result. Our records show that he even attempted to use this vessel to restore the Krenum's fortunes but he was defeated by an unknown alliance. Afterward, the Krenum Imperium declined, as perhaps was its fate all along. We were diminished, but content to let time progress as it would, until the Vardwar. The first Krenum worlds to fall managed to warn the others. When the Vardwar came, we hid ourselves in the time stream. It was the only way we survived. Before the Vaudoir arrived, we were working on a relic. It was a replica of Anorax's time ship. With it, we could have gone back and eliminated the Vaudoir threat before it even began. The Vaudoir's assault on the Imperium took too much from us. Now we possess Anorax's work, but not the means to bring it to life. You have seen what our technology can do. We have the designs. You have the manpower and the materials. Perhaps your governments would be interested in mutual cooperation. Allow us a chance to undo what the Vaudoir did, and we will give you something that will erase your enemies from time itself. There's more here than what you've seen. You've hidden the entire planet? Yes. We removed ourselves from the time stream to stay alive. With your help, we can change everything. You hid an entire planet, but you can't build this time ship on your own? We have the plans. Our resources are almost gone. We have shipyards, workers, and all the materials you could need. Precisely. We revealed ourselves to you as a gesture of good faith. What will you do in return? 
The Iconians and the Heralds are gone. It's safe to resync with our time and contact our ship. But this is huge. A whole Krenum colony that survived the Vodwar? One that has temporal technology that even the Iconians can't counter? A weaponized time ship that can erase entire civilizations like they never existed? This could change the entire war. We, we could have a chance now. Temporal mechanics is not a complication we need, but this weapon they are proposing sounds intriguing. You and Captain Nog were correct in thinking the Alliance would be interested in investigating such a thing. Personally, I approve of anything the Iconians might fear. Kapla! The war continues! 